Create a custom dashboard. Managing operations with dashboard is painless when you get quick updates from your favorite widgets on your plate each morning, right? With SalesMate CRM, you can create your own custom dashboard. Seems so pleasant. Let us learn the basics of creating a custom dashboard. Before proceeding, please note that creating a new dashboard is subject to the profile permission under setup, followed by profile permissions. Make sure the users have appropriate permissions in advance. As you log into SalesMate platform, you are welcomed with the default dashboard. The default dashboard consists of an onboarding widget to help you set up your account along with some essential widgets. You can add more widgets to the existing dashboard by clicking on the Add Widget button on the header. You can select from the list of widgets available or build a new report to add it as a widget. To build a report, provide report name, description, select folder, select the module for which you want to build the report and a related module. Click Next, select a date time frame and choose conditions to filter data for your report. Manage columns to add fields. Hit next to select the chart type. And click on save. You can now add the report as widget on the dashboard of your choice. With actions, you can edit or clone the current dashboard. Furthermore, you can email this dashboard or manage your recurring emails. Manage Dashboard helps you change ownership of the existing custom dashboards or delete it if required. With Create Dashboard, you get three options. Blank Dashboard. Here you can start with the blank dashboard and add any widgets from the library or add custom widgets to your dashboard. Sales Overview. Pre-configured dashboard with nine built-in reports explaining the overall performance of the sales team. Default dashboard. Packaged with a dashboard of five inbuilt reports helping you to focus on required activities. When you click on any of these predefined dashboards, SalesMate will give you the option to simply select the privacy settings and manage widgets. We will cover this portion in detail in the further part of the video. Let us take a quick look at the offerings under Sales Overview. As we select the dashboard and update the information here, we get a high level of statistics on our sales process with widgets like deal performance, deal count by stage and source, deal forecast, and much more. Let us now check the blank dashboard. You will now have to type the dashboard name and choose the privacy settings. These privacy settings help you in determining who can see your dashboard. The private option lets you keep the entire dashboard just limited to you. Nobody else from your team can see your dashboard. The public option lets you grant access to other teammates. The next option, which is visible to particular users, which lets you separately add selected users by just adding their name in this section. The other option of sharing the custom dashboard is to share with your teams, which is visible to particular team. It lets you separately add multiple teams by just adding the team name in this section. When you select the second, third, or fourth option in privacy settings, it will activate the manage widget add or remove permissions to either the owner or just keeping it shared with everyone else who has access to the dashboard in the team. Once the basic details are done, click on save. Soon you will receive a success notification that your dashboard has been created. You can now add widgets to your custom dashboard from two options given to keep a close eye on your sales activities. As you click on either of the Add Widget options, you will see a list of widgets to choose from. Filters namely the Contact, Company Widgets, Activity, Deals, System, or Custom Widgets. After analyzing which widget is useful for you, you can click on Add to Dashboard or click on View Report to see how the widget report looks. As you click on Add to Dashboard, you get a pop-up where you can change the widget name and select on which dashboard would you like the new widget you will get the success notification as soon as you add the widget. Once all the widgets are added, click on View Dashboard from the notification pop-up and you are then good to start your journey of managing your business more smartly. The very first thing you will observe is the Select View. When you click on it, it will navigate you to different dashboards, like the System Dashboard, My Dashboard, and the Shared Dashboard. When you hover on this list of dashboards, you will see a star icon, 
which lets you mark the dashboard as favorite and the delete icon to delete any dashboard. When you mark any of these dashboards as your favorite, the star line icon will turn into yellow and the same dashboard will also appear in the favorite section. There are filters available for date range, users, teams, and deal pipeline. The filters that you set here will override the filter set on the individual widgets. Let us understand each of them in detail. Date range lets you quickly specify the filter by date range and frequency. It has easy date ranges like the last seven days, today, this week, last week, etc. You can select the time frame as per your choice to extract the details accordingly. The frequency option that you see over here is to select when should these widgets get refreshed with the data, daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or yearly. Let us now move to the second filter, that is, users. Here you can select single or multiple users if you want to compare the performance of the teammates. You get an option to select and unselect all users in one go. Once you select the number of users and click on apply, it will reflect on all the widgets that you have on the respective dashboard. Similarly, when you want to see the performance of any individual team or would like to compare the team performance, we have the team filter, where you can select or unselect all teams. You can also select single or multiple teams and click on apply. All the widgets with the access of that team will be displayed on the dashboard. The other one with the quick filters is the deal pipeline, where you can select the respective pipeline one at a time and click on apply to reflect the change in the widgets that you have on your dashboard. Please note these pipelines are the ones that you have created in the deal pipeline section. If you do not want any specific filter, you can click on the X and that respective filter will be removed. This is the basics of creating a custom dashboard from the blank dashboard. Feel free to connect with our support team for any other questions you may have. Don't forget to click on the bell icon to stay tuned with what's new at SalesMate CRM.